Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In our last lesson, we did a deep dive into the node interface. We learned how to read input and output, switch between different data views, and most importantly, how to use expressions to make our automations dynamic. That raises a very important question though. In our last lesson, we connected to Google Sheets and Gmail. But how did NNN get permission to access my private Google account? How does it prove to Google that it's allowed to act on my behalf? Well, today we're answering that fundamental question. We're going to explore credentials, the secure digital passports that allow NNN to connect to your apps and services. But before we get started, please do make sure to join our Discord group. It's a great space to connect with other students who are also learning NADN. Okay, let's get into it. Today's lesson outline is as follows. We'll first take a look at what the world was like before a credential system. Then we'll take a look at what NADN credentials vault system is actually like and what it does and how it works. We'll take a look at how to set up a credential system, a quick recap, and then we'll give you the assignment for today's lesson. Okay, let's get into it. To appreciate the system we have today, we have to first look at the insecure world that came before it. In the early days of programming, if a developer needed to connect their script to an application, they often did something very simple and also very dangerous. They would copy their password or their secret API key and paste it directly into the code as a plain text string. The limitations of this were massive. Firstly, it was incredibly insecure. If you ever shared your code with a colleague or accidentally uploaded it to a public repository like GitHub, your secret key was exposed for the entire world to see. Anyone could then take that key and gain access to your account. Second, it was a maintenance nightmare. If your key expired or you needed to change it for security reasons, you had to manually hunt down every single script where you had pasted that key and update them one by one. It was inefficient and incredibly prone to error. This is a problem that NADN's credential system solves so elegantly. Think of it as a secure password manager, but specifically for your automations. You save your credentials once in a secure encrypted vault right inside of your NADN instance. Then from any node in any workflow that needs that access, you simply select the credential you want to use from a drop-down menu. The benefits are immediate. Your secrets are encrypted and are never ever exposed in your workflow's code. If you share a workflow with someone, you're only sharing a reference to the credential, not the secret itself. And if you ever need to update a key, you only have to do it from one place. You update it central credential vault and every single workflow that uses it is instantly updated. It's secure, centralized, and reusable. So, what kinds of credentials will you encounter? The first most basic type is an API key. An API key is typically a long, unique string of characters that a service gives you to identify yourself. The best analogy for an API key is that it's like a master key to a building. Anyone who possesses that key has a high level of access to the resources the key was designed to open. It's simple, effective, and you'll see it used by many services. The second more modern and more secure type is OAuth2. With OAuth2, you never give NNN your username and password. Instead, when you go to connect your account, NNN redirects you to the service itself, like the Google login page. You log in directly with Google and Google asks you, do you want to grant NNN permission to do specific things like read your spreadsheets? The perfect analogy for OAuth is a valet key. You don't give the parking attendant your master key that can open the trunk and the glove box. You give them a limited key that can only start the car and lock the doors. OAuth works the same way. You are delegating limited specific permissions to NADN without ever sharing your main password. This is why it's the preferred and most secure method for modern applications. So how do you, how do you set up a credential? Well, if you recall to the previous lesson, where I showed you what the Google Sheets node looked like, you'll remember the configuration panel. 
And at the top, you will see a credential field. And from there, you can create a new credential. All you have to do is click the drop down and, and then select create new credential. And then this will take you to this page. All you have to do is click OAuth2 that we just discussed. It's the most recommended and most preferred way that most modern applications use. And then you can, you can click sign in with Google. And from then on, you can grant specific permissions to NNN and it will have access to, in this instance, your Google Sheets, a particular Google Sheets document. It's that simple. But let's take a look at what exactly is on the right-hand side to OAuth2. This is called the service account. So as you can see, the recommended authentication method is OAuth2. A service account is a special non-human account that belongs to an application, not a person. Think of it this way. Instead of giving NNN your valet key to your personal car, you're giving it the keys to a brand new company car that only exists for your automations. This is a security best practice. The service account is its own identity. You, the owner, grant that service account permission to access specific Google Sheet. Then you give the credentials for that service account to NNN. It creates a clean, secure layer of separation between your personal account and your automations. It's that simple. Okay, quick recap. We've seen how the old method of hard coding secrets was a security disaster waiting to happen. NNN solves this with a secure, centralized vault where we can define our credentials once and reuse them everywhere. We've learned the difference between a simple API key and the more modern, secure, delegated permission of OAuth2. Great, okay. And now your assignment for this lesson is very simple. I want you to build the exact workflow that we covered in the previous lesson. So create a new Google Sheet with the same columns as the lead sheet I provided. Use the Google Sheets node to read data from your sheet. Connect a Gmail node. And in the subject field, you can add whatever you want. And in the to field, pull in the lead's email address dynamically. Don't worry about sending the emails just yet. The goal is to get the workflow built and expressions written correctly. And if you get stuck or have any questions, then please feel free to ask away in our Discord group and someone will help you. That's it for today's lesson. In the next lesson, we're gonna move on to actually building your first live automation product. Okay, I'll see you there.